Alright, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Najib and I am an animation student and today we are going to be learning 2.5D animation. Hmm, interesting. I'm actually super excited for this episode because this kind of animation like caught my eye really really fast because I it, it's just so fascinating. But right, I'm going to explain to you what is 2.5D animation. Basically there's not, there's, it's, it isn't a thing, there's no such thing as 2.5D, I just made that up, you know. But, the animation that I'm just about to show you here, it is a 2D animation, but it lives in a 3D world, simply said. Alright, you know what, let me just show you, let me just show you so you can understand. I found this video from TikTok, of course, um, wait, I can't see, so I'm just going to wear my spectacles. And it is by the artist named... I don't know how to how to how, how to say his name, but Didoze, deduce. Okay, I'm going to stop, and I think I'm going to call him Mr. D. All right, because he is going to be our teacher for today's uh, follow along tutorial. So I'm going to call him Mr. D. That's way much more easier. So Mr. D, if you're watching, I'm sorry, I don't know how to. I probably should have researched first, but whatever. All right, so. This is his artwork. Look at it. He's, it is a 2D art style, but at the same time, he's moving it around like it's a 3D environment. L look at that. Look at that. That's like crazy. If you're in the art community, you probably know about this TikTok here. But if you don't, look at that. That is so bizarre. When I first watched it, it's like I, my mind just can't physically compute it. And I was immediately intrigued who did this and then I was immediately fallen in love with his art right so yeah and then I found his tutorial and then today we are going to follow it you know let's have some fun it is a technique that is called as grease pencil in blender so basically what grease pencil is by blender by from the website blender uh, it said that Grease pencil is a particular type of blender object that allows you to draw in 3D space. It can be used to make 2D animation, cutout animation, motion graphics, or use it as storyboard tool, among other things. Hello and welcome to my very first tutorial. Today Hello. I'm going to show you how to create this little floating juice box. And look, and look we're going to create this. Like, we're going to create this. That is so cute. Like. I can't wait guys, like, oh my god, okay, let me just watch. Using Blender's free special tool only from start to finish. I'm going to show you the amazing drawing tool and also the amazing palette tool. I'm going to show you how to move in 3D space while drawing and how to animate your drawing using traditional 2D techniques mixed with 3D motion for your objects and for the camera. So, Let's begin. Alright, let's go! Let's go, people! First, the tutorial is intended for both complete beginners and... Alright, nice. He said this tutorial is both for complete beginners and people who are also experienced in Blender. So, yeah. I don't have any experience at all with Blender. Like, this is literally my first time, my first hand experience using Blender. Alright? So, yeah, I guess this tutorial is for me then. Alright, so since I have no experience at all using Blender, I am going to learn first uh, the interface on how to navigate within Blender. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go. Alright, hi guys. This is voiceover Najib shall be taking over this video now for the sake of keeping this video from literally falling apart because of the few missing clips I have due to my camera not wanting to record. So it's totally fine. It's totally fine. The next few clips are going to be just about me teaching myself back on what Mr. D has taught me and also some reactions I have during my first time using the software. So I have to just hover my mouse over here and use the middle scroll button on my mouse and then there we go, yeah! We are circling the cube, nice. And if I want to zoom in, I can go to this plus minus and just scroll up and scroll down. If I want to go to side to side, left click. This here, this is our camera button and if you want to render, you can render it just like that and then we got our first render image from blender oh my god guys we are actually learning blender i have been wanting to learn blender in so long now this is so cool okay nice, nice. Ah! we just made our first cone oh my god guys i just made my first cone 
Y'all, y'all look at this. It's a cone. Oh my god. It's in 3D space. Look at that. That line. Guys, I may look like I'm like overacting right now, but this is some cool stuff. So that is the grease pencil stroke. So this is me doodling on my 3D canvas, don't really know what I'm doing but just experimenting around and trying to have fun with it. And then it was time to learn how to do the juice box that we're supposed to learn in the tutorial. So in the beginning, I really tried to follow as closely as possible with everything that Mr. D had done, you know, down to the little details, I didn't want to miss anything. But soon after that, I realized that I made my first huge mistake. So my mistake was I drew everything in the materials layer where I should have drawn it on the this green spaghetti icon. Look at it, oh my god. So I had to redraw everything back and delete all the layers back and then edit them back again. So this is me doing all of that. Yeah. After that's done, I ran into my second problem. So I tried to color this plane over here, this square over here. But then it has this lighting effect that is casted onto the plane that I that it, that is that is not showing up in the tutorial, but it's showing up in mine. So I didn't know what to do because there's no mention of it in the tutorial itself. And after 45 minutes of literally trying to find out what went wrong, this is what happens. Like I kid you not, I was trying to figure out why was the light behaving that way? And like what was wrong with my lights? I'm, I'm like trying to check, you know? And then I went back to the YouTube video, I scroll just a bit into the update by uh, Mr. D himself. Just turn off the, the light things over here. So yeah! Yeah, check the comments if you're doing this tutorial because there are some important footnotes in there that you might miss. I was then able to draw the side and the top of the juice box and then I started to dislike the color palette. It looks a bit... not. it's not coming together in my opinion. And then I also started to dislike the design that I drew. It just wasn't the same as Mr. D. And I feel like I can't replicate it. So if I can't re replicate it, I said to myself, you best believe I'm going to change the design into something new and better than the one I draw. So I erased everything again except the outline of the box. And yeah, yep, we are redrawing everything the second time. <laughs> At this point, I really don't care how long this is going to take because I just want to make it look nice, and if it's not the same as Mr. D's, it's fine, right? At least we can make sure to make it work, and if it looks nice, it can, it, it's a bonus, right? So enjoy me redesigning everything here. <laughs> I also wanted to add a little challenge for myself. Uh, yeah, I, I know, I know, as if doing this entire tutorial is not challenging enough for me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I make irrational decisions sometimes. But this turned out to be a creative choice in my opinion, so hear me out. I added a fish. And the challenge was to animate the fish to swim around the box. So after finishing all of that, it was finally time to animate everything. It was definitely something I'm not used to and yeah, need to learn more because I literally haven't done any digital animation whatsoever. Yeah, this is all new knowledge to me. Although I did mention that I'm an animation student in the beginning of the video, but I have to be honest with you, this is actually my first time doing it. In my first semester of uni, we didn't really learn how to animate yet. This is we just learned the we just learned the history of it and the fundamentals of, of art. Unfortunately, I accidentally pressed stop at my screen recorder here, and it missed a whole chunk of me animating the fish. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but you can see the result right here on the screen. And yeah, this is this is it so far. It is very choppy, and the lines were messy. But it was something that moved, you know? It's something, it's a start. So I was quite okay with that fact. And then after that, it was finally time for my first render animation 
ever. It didn't take that long because it was just like a 10 second clip, but I really didn't like the background after the render and there are still some messy lines that I could see. So I went back to it and fixed it up, tried my best to make it look clean and all. And here is the second render. At this moment, I still didn't vibe with the background. It just doesn't sit right with me. I don't know, I don't like the plain background. But this is pretty much done, and you could say I actually finished the tutorial, so I was quite impressed with myself. This actually took 4 days, no, no 3 days to finish it, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, however, I still wanted to push this a bit further, and I also still didn't vibe with the plain background. So what I did next was, this was out of the tutorial anyway, I finished the tutorial, so this was uh, my own additional stuff I added to myself. So what I did next was I went to Filmora which is my video editing software and I tried to add some background. So the way I was able to add the background in Filmora is I render out the animation in a green screen, in a green background, very bright green background and then on Filmora I can erase the background and add the new backgrounds that I wanted to try. And then I finally found one that suits it and I color correct everything to make the color fits together nicely. And finally, I was able to land on something that I actually really really like. So this is the reveal of my first ever Blender project. Alright everybody, so this is the final outcome of my first Grease Pencil project on Blender. It looks so much different than what I expected it to be in the beginning of the video because I, I said that I was going to follow exactly what Mr. D does, everything, you know? And then when I had to redo it, that's when I was like, you know, let me just change it up, you know, because I don't want to draw the th same things twice or thrice so I had to change the design because for to add more fun to it you know and yeah it turned out into this which is like 180 spin from Mr. D's outcome. I also want to say thank you to Mr. D himself for creating this tutorial this was actually a great tutorial you explained everything very detailed and it was very easy for me who has no experience at all to learn Blender so yeah, my outcome looks like this, so I think that proves how good of a teacher you are. So I just want to say thank you for creating this and for free, you know, for so all the people can watch it. This was actually a really fun uh, challenge to me. I haven't challenged myself to learn something new in quite, in quite a while now. So this was, this was a refreshing to me. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Now, if you want to support me on different social platforms, my username is the same, Najib Basirian, and I post quite different contents from each of the social platforms. Now, if you enjoy this kind of video, you can hit the like button because this will let YouTube know you like this kind of content. If you want content specifically for me, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be as early as possible, you can hit that bell icon. Alright, see you later, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching.